Well, look, it's a great day in America. We've been very public in our view about the correct national energy policy for the future. And our view is it's got to include all the arrows in the quiver. That means nuclear, 21st century coal, gas, renewables, and energy efficiency. It is so important for the United States. It is, in fact, a national priority that we restart this renaissance of nuclear in America. And so the granting of the COL along this very thoughtful and thorough process followed by the NRC is, I think, the first major step that will allow us to make this renaissance a reality. We're very proud to be the first company going down that road. We felt that when we looked down the road, uh, and you know that we're in one of these built-to-last industries, that our planning horizons are 40 to 60 years, we've got to have nuclear as part of that portfolio. It's clean, it's reliable, and it's safe. And so therefore, when we looked at the characteristics of companies that we thought could undertake new nuclear, uh, we felt we fit the profile pretty well. We have scale, we have the highest level of financial integrity, and we have excellent credibility of operations. And so with all those things taken together, we felt that it was important for the benefit of the citizens of Georgia Power Company to be able to undertake this important project and put it in place uh, for decades to come. Well, it's significant. If you look at the economic impact, we'll have, I guess, at the peak of employment during construction, about 3,500 craft workers, about four to 5,000 people total dedicated to this project. And we have estimates that indicate that the total impact of Plant Volga, we consider supply chains and everything else, will be over. 25,000 direct and indirect jobs contributed to our economy. So this one project alone is significant to the state of Georgia, the Southeast, and in fact the United States.